Welcome to Appstar Press. In this video, I will guide you through how to change color of SVG image using CSS. You will also learn how to convert SVG image to inline SVG. This tutorial is inspired by a question asked how to change fill color of SVG dynamically. So here it is. So I've got this CSS icons, image and SVG max width, max height and margin. And then I've got this container. Inside it, we've got a div with class icons. This is the index.html and I have got facebook.svg and youtube.svg. Two images, svg graphics, svg files. Let's say we've got this svg. This is the svg we've got. And here is the output. This is the svg. It's got path. Path uses fill. So if I use fill color, I can change the color of this graphic. In the case where we had SVG. What if we have got SVG images like this? SVG files as source for image element img element so img src facebook dot svg and youtube dot svg we've got this how to change their color using css now we have got this so these are the images fill won't work here now because we don't have path here and what i'm thinking if we can apply css changes to these svg images we can keep the markup clean you see, this is a little bit less code than that previously SVG whole thing. So we can keep the markup clean like this, yet enjoy all the goodness that SVG offers. So to do that, we can replace the SVG images with inline SVG using JavaScript. So at the end, here's the jQuery script tags, jQuery icons, IMG dot each function icons, IMG. So we're selecting all images and iterate over each image element, executing this function. Inside we'll have this, jQuery this for this variable. We are wrapping the current image element in a jQuery object so that jQuery methods can be used on it. Now, this IMG is a reference to the current image being processed in the loop. Get the ID attribute of the current image element if it exists. This will be undefined if the ID attribute is not present. Similarly, get the class attribute of the current image element if it exists. It will be undefined if the class attribute is not present. Basically, we are copying class and ID if those were present already on the images. Here, like here class FB exists, class YT exists. And here get the src attribute of the current image element, which contains the URL of the SVG file, this URL. And here make an AJAX request to fetch the SVG file from this. The XML at the end tells the browser to treat the file as XML, which is suitable for SVG content. Data contains the content of the SVG file. Get the SVG part of the file from data. If the original image had an ID, add this ID to the new SVG. If the original image had a class like this, add this class to the new SVG. Remove any unnecessary or unwanted attributes from the SVG to make sure it works properly. And then swap out the IMG element, this, and replace it with modified SVG. So the SVG is now directly embedded in the web page. This code loads SVG file, makes some adjustments to it, like adding an ID and class if those were there in the IMG element. After that, cleans it up a bit and then puts it in place of an image on the web page. It looks a bit tricky, I know. If you need him to explain anything further, ask in comments. But this should work now. And if we inspect it, this is the SVG now with the path. Here, 
these were images img elements with svg src as source but now they are svg files with path images were converted to svg code inline svgs and now we can apply css fb hover path fill yt hover path fb and yt see now we can target the path to change color in css and this is how we can use css on svg svg image and also this is how we can change svg images to inline svg using javascript and also keep the code clean okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next one